beautiful Leo friends and happy, happy birthday. Don't you think for 10 seconds that I even forgot that birthday time is still on us. I've got a little Leo over here who's going to be celebrating her 13th birthday on August 6th. So woo woo to all the August 6th birthdays, but happy birthday, Leo. It is your season. And when your season comes around, you get a new moon. You're going to get one this month. And this is your chance to plant your seeds of intention for what you want for this next annual year. What do you want? What do you want to create? Not to mention, I love that as we end this month and we're leaving it, we get these energies moving into Virgo, which help you get organized, help you get into the details of what you want to do with your finances, your creative talents to help you create the reality that you want for this next year. It is an absolutely brilliant month. I have nothing but delicious things to say. Yes, life is still going to be on life's terms, but you have the advantage of astrology to see how you can take the greatest advantage of those things and then make your choices based on a little bit of strategy that's been presented to you. So let's take a look at what's going on this month in just a second. First, I have to tell you the eat and greets are staying on this month. Thank you for showing up, giving me your time. I hope you're enjoying them. This month, we've got Glenn Mitchell, Kathy Taylor, um, Kay Taylor, excuse me, Kathy Rose. We have got Susan Miller coming over. So if you like her horoscopes, I think you'll enjoy the eat and greet she and I are going to do together. Clarissa Dolphin will be here to talk about vibrational astrology. So if you're feeling that, we've got another practitioner coming to the table and it is going to be nothing but really good stuff stuff in the eat and greets. As well, this month on August 7th through the 9th, I'm going to be a part of the Astrology for Power and Purpose Summit. It is absolutely free. And I am telling you, if you need a like mid-year inspiration, boost to the tank, a little empowerment, a little uh, something, right? Come and join me and 17 other astrologers. We're going to talk about astrology. How can you use this? How is it applicable? Different ways to think about it. So if you're new to astrology, you've been doing it a thousand years, whatever the situation is, there's a space for you at this free summit. And I would love to see you come over there and just take advantage of how these can give you more strategy with astrology. I'll make sure everything's in the description box down below. Okay. All right, Leo, let's talk about this Leo season month we've got on our our hands and you see I got my orange back here for you okay Leo all right at the beginning of the month we've got a full moon happening in Aquarius which is just across the street so we know in the opposite energy this is going to light up your seventh house this is about relationships and it's not just romantic relationships this is relationships the relationship of you with you Leo the relationship with your business partner the relationship with your close friend with that one cousin with your open enemies this is relationships shipping. The full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or an adjustment needs to be made here. Now in the energy of Aquarius, you're very much so about I'm Leo. This is what I have. This is me, right? Your own special sauce. But in Aquarius, you're asking the question of what's good for all of us? What's good for the whole here? So in your relationships, don't be surprised if this full moon is saying, well, hold on, what's good for the whole? Or what do you have to offer to the whole here? Because something you may be looking at with this very surprising Aquarian moon is that maybe you got to have some unconventional behaviors actions or attitudes that are actually going to bring success to this area of your life, success to the relationship zone. So sometimes you got to be unpredictable to get a successful um, culmination or adjustment or an acknowledgement from the moon, but have no fear. You'll be well guided here. The full moon sheds more light than we get to see at any point during the month. And so you're going to have a lot of light to make your discernment um, dis to discern what your strategy will be going forward, okay? But don't be surprised if it's a little unconventional and it definitely is pushing you to the idea of what Leo brings to the whole. On the fifth, we've got Mercury moving into the Leo. It's like, boom, you literally get fire of the mouth. I love that. This is where Mercury speaks big. It speaks bold. You're ready to express yourself. You're ready to say some things. Maybe you want to have a conversation about something. You're ready to be seen. This is also 
Mercury is a phenomenally business savvy energy. So if you need to promote yourself, let Mercury help you here. Let Mercury be your guide, right? This is a beautiful energy for that promotion, for business, for taking yourselves if you are making a presentation, even if it's just on Zoom, for you really being able to present well and effectively. Now, truly, because there have been changes in relationships with that moon, as Mercury shows up at your table here, the way you need to have conversation, the decisions that you need to make, you're going to be able to do it not only naturally and with some ease, but you're also going to be able, I think, to think along the lines of how does this benefit all? How can I bring myself to the all of it? That's a very big theme that I think it's get expressed this month in how do you share and how do you do yourself? Because who you do that with, the way you show up in these relationships, whether they're business or personal or social and online, that's also going to be a big um, indicator of how this next year is going to go for you. So use it well, use it wise, but speak that fire from the mouth, okay? On the seventh, we've got Venus moving into the energy of Cancer. So just back into the 12th house. Now, one of the things I love about Venus in the 12th house is take you a bath, have a bath, get a little bit of snacks, light those candles, really take care of yourself. Back up. I know it's Leo season and this is exciting, but back up, take care of yourself, nurture yourself, nurture that spiritual lion that is in there as well. Take care of that. Give it some good food. Give it that massage get back to your body in the energy of cancer get back to those emotions now i also in the 12th house and in cancer um you could be having a reconnection with family members or you're going back to a topic that had to do with family cancer and venus is trying to bring some harmony here now for some of you truly if it is the season where you've got an inheritance or you've got something coming from a family member um venus is going to magnetize this area for you and bring it to you so you don't have to fight for it venus will draw it into you and as always venus in the 12th house is still about relationships and it is about money so a relationship or money could be coming back from the past but this time it actually may have a little bit more value to it because venus is not retrograde so she hasn't lost her mind or anything she's clear and she's direct so whatever shows about your door even if it's a past opportunity to pull an idea out of hiding and now you can do something valuable with it engage what's coming from the past, even if it's just in a dream or an idea, okay? On the 15th, we've got Uranus taking a retrograde in the energy of Taurus. Now, this is lighting up the tip top of your chart. Uranus retrograde is about going back over where you've still been in a rut and releasing it to find your freedom. Now, this is going to be a little bit easier to, to break free, to find your freedoms, especially things around work, around finance, where you felt confined around your purpose. It's going to be a little bit easier if you're already feeling a little bit more comfortable in this area, of course. So for some of you, truly, this Uranian retrograde may be a very big shock because you're like, I really have to do this different if I'm going to have freedom in this area. And that is okay. It is okay to be a little bit shocked, but know that what Uranus is going back to is this idea of where you've got to get out of what's been in order to make it valuable and thus have your freedom. In the energy of Taurus, just like Aquarius, which Uranus naturally rules, they're both fixed energies and so are you. So it's really easy to be comfortable in the work career. I've had the same thing. I'm known for this the entire time. And this is calling for a shift because you need something else that can take you forward long term. So just be willing to innovate. Remember, your freedom is what you're going for during this retrograde, which lasts all the way until January of 2021. On the uh, 19th, you get your new moon, you get your birthday present, the new moon happening right there in Leo. Plant your seeds of intention here. What do you want? Who do you want to be? How do you want to show up? How do you even want to design and promote yourself over this next year? Remember, the new moon is the darkest time of the month, so you don't know. You're going to make an assessment. You're going to say, I'm going to plant this cute little version of a Leo, and I hope that it sprouts. I hope I get that version as the uh, the four weeks go through and we see the lunar cycle play out. But I think this is also a beautiful time when the sun and the moon come together, Leo, where you get to be 
so in the presence of the energy and the understanding that absolutely anything is possible when the sun and the moon come together where do you want to be fierce where do you want there to be this fury leo energy you are a leader you are generous your heart is big you have joy you are giving joy over this next year this is your time plant those seeds of intention and let's watch that bad boy roll out as we experience not only this next four weeks but over this next year as well when we get to the end of the month we're going to see on the 20th mercury moving into the energy of virgo very comfortable very at home over there it lights up your second house so i know that you've got some financial savvy once we get to the 20th of the month on this is good you've also got venus back there in the 12th house so she's gently got an eye on what's happening in your could cause my own default or my own downfall area so instead with the combination of these energies i think what you really truly have is financial intuition a financial draw to you the sun is going to move into your second house into virgo on the 22nd so now you've got light heat life and vitality get those finances organized virgo is showing up to help you clean up what needs to be cleaned up to organize to reorganize go over your books what do you need to look at what do you need to see in your finances do you have skills of your own leo that you could be offering out to help someone else organize and that turns into passive income or income for you what are the skills and the talents that maybe you've been sitting on or maybe this month in these relationships this month in the question of what do I want to be and have in this next year is calling you to see what you can do what you can innovate to have this financial area be really strong for you I also think here that Virgo in the energy of your money is not only giving you some intuition here but it's saying i want the most integrity that i can get out of this area so you're going to be making not only strong financial decisions but they are ones that i think have long-term integrity and value for you as well so if you trade if you're a part of the stocks whatever you do that maybe is very detail oriented it's going to be a real treat to your money 30 days to get organized to get healthy financially what a great way to end the month so that you have those coins you have that confidence to do as you would like to do as we go forward into this next year leo i think that's absolutely beautiful all right my leo friends happy birthday enjoy leo season because we do have to move into virgo season eventually so enjoy your season know that i'm thinking about you like this video comment share subscribe i look forward to seeing you in the astrology summit for power and purpose it's free come join me and of course in all of the eat and greets and the weekly videos as well i love you guys bye